Okay, uh, today's Saturday. Saturday. Um, went shopping to a bunch of sales. There was a town where I did not go to it. Didn't feel like it. Uh, went local, schmokel, here, there, everywhere. Um, maybe 10 sales, something like that. Uh, only spent $93 today for this stuff. Um, not because I want to, you know, when I go out, I generally want to spend more. I want to find, like, good stuff that I could really flip. Um, and I've been saying I just buy two ways lately. I'm buying, because I have a lot of stuff. It's, it's beyond ridiculous. Um, but I'm buying two ways now. I'm buying, like, really good or really cheap. And um, everything today was, I'm going to say really cheap. I don't think maybe one thing's good. I'm not going to say anything was really good, but it's all good, and it's good and cheap. So uh, $93, that's what I spent. I didn't get much video game stuff, so I'll just start here and I'll get that over with. Um, Walking Dead game, this is most likely a 4 or $5 game. I am just going to take that straight to the flea market. And then this is also... This is, it's jewelry, but it's, it's also video game related. This is a Killer Instinct promotional pin. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Uh, I recognize it right away. It says, uh, I think it's from the 90s or something like that, or maybe the 2000s. But it says Nintendo right on it. Um, these sell on, on eBay for, I found one that sold. Everybody's got them priced at about like 30 bucks, 29, 30 bucks. One sold for 29 so I'm going to sell this probably easy 25 So that's pretty good. All right. Um, uh, it doesn't really matter what I do. This swatch hat was a dollar. Uh, if this isn't worth like 20 bucks, I'm going to put it in the store for like five. Okay. Somebody wants a swatch hat. Um, this is pretty cool. It's nice and heavy. It's just, uh, I don't know. What do you call that? It's not a gazelle. It's a ram, I guess, with, with big horns. A horny ramp. Uh, it was four dollars. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna put it in the store on the shelf. Just like like so. You know, and I'll probably make it fifteen dollars, something like that at most. Uh, this is kind of my dumb purchase of the day. I got these gone with the wind fridge magnets. Uh they're from 92, 1992. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna sell these on eBay as a collection. There's someone who likes Gone with the Wind. I think they're all 1992. This one's 1995. So apparently they're 90s. People do collect Gone with the Wind. So even this. Don't bother me anymore. And don't call me sugar. Guess that's Gone with the Wind. I don't really know. I know this guy is. And this straight out says Gone with the Wind. Alright, uh, I'll, I'll do jewelry last. Uh, this is a butter churn. So that's eBay. This is store. That's flea market. This is a butter churn. And I think this is probably worth 20 or 30 bucks. Oh, okay. Let's see. It's an Echo. Alright, this could be worth 20, 35. Most likely. It's not going to be worth a real lot, I don't believe. Um, this is going to go in the showcase. Unless it's worth 50 or more, and then I'll put it on eBay. Still not going to do jewelry yet. Okay, here's a Caithness. Ortic Scotland. I don't know why it has those letters on the top. I might put this in the store. I only paid a dollar for it. I paid five for this. I paid a dollar for this. Um, I paid a dollar for the hat, four for that. I paid two for those. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh let me go through this. I paid a buck a piece for the Bob Dylan record. Nice and clean. That's going to go in the store. Uh, well, actually, if it's like if this is like $10 or more, I don't believe these are. If I can sell these for 5 bucks, they're going in the store. If they're like $15, $20, I might take them, I might save them for a street fair. Uh, Steve, here's something that I bought for a dollar. If you want it, it's a gift. I, I know you like this kind of stuff. It's nothing special. It's just a wall plaque, but it has a bunch of Mustangs on it. You tell me. If you don't want it, I'll sell it at a flea market. I'll wait. I'll wait on that stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, Marie bought a bag of clothes. Twelve dollars, all new, never worn, um, labeled, uh, tag still on it, all her size. Twelve dollars. I'm not going to show it, but it, there's got to be. I'm going to say there's ten outfits there. There's probably like five hundred dollars worth of clothes right there that somebody bought. Maybe more.
She spent $12 for the whole bag, and that'll be great for her. She's got wardrobe now, a new wardrobe. Uh, I bought these. <laughs> these were 2 bucks each, and I was thinking about it because I can use it for one of the things I bought today, or I can give it to my kid, and I can use it for art, or I can just put, like, like small posters in it and then hang it on the wall. But then the lady goes like this. I'll give you both of these for, like, uh, 20 cents. I'm like, uh... <laughs> So I'm like, I didn't, I wasn't even sure I won them, but I'm like, oh, geez, 20 cents. So I said, okay, fine, I'll take them. And I gave her a quarter. I let her keep the change. I was like, just keep the change. I was very generous. Um, this is pretty cool. This I'm going to put in the, in the store, most likely. Or the showcase. Uh, no, I thought I'll put it in the store. This is a MoMA, which means Museum of Modern Art. Um, fruit bowl. And it's made out of chrome. And it's like chrome wire. It's pretty cool. You just put fruit in there. It's very modernist. I like stuff like that. I'm going to put that in the showcase for sure. Uh, no, I mean the store. That's going in the store. All right. Um, let me do perfect. This is going in the store. It's just a, it's just, it's not even old or anything. I paid like two bucks for it. It's a crystal clear bear paperweight. I'm going to put it in the store like eight bucks. Don't care. I don't care what it's worth. I don't care if it's worth 20 or whatever. I'll put like eight bucks on it. And then somebody that just wants a, a nice big polar bear paperweight can buy it and be happy. Uh, this was a dollar. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. If it's not worth anything on eBay, I'll either put it in the showcase or the store. Not sure. Um, this I'm putting in the store. It was a dollar. I'm probably going to make it five or six bucks. I'm going to see if I can clean this little spot right here. You know, unless this is worth like a stupid amount of money, and I already know it's not. Five bucks in the store. Oops. Stupid wind. All right. All right, I'll do the perfume. Um, these were like a dot. Okay, this one was the most expensive one I bought. Ten bucks. I'm debating because one is aftershave and one is uh, like a cologne. So I'm either going to sell them together for 40 or 50. Unless they're only, if they're only worth like 20 a piece, but 40 or 50 together. Like 20, 30, I might sell them together because one's eau de toilette and one is aftershave lotion. And these are Jean Paul Gaultier. The lady was like, oh, these are $100 in the store when I bought it. And, but there was a gift, so she didn't really pay anything. For um, 10 bucks I paid. So that that's, has to go on eBay. Here's a, one lady said she used to sell Avon, but she had some Avon and not Avon. Now, when it comes to Avon, you can buy... Okay, got it. Uh, when it comes to Avon, you can buy... Don't buy the figural stuff so much. But this is Estee Lauder pa Paradise. Usually Estee Lauder is pretty good. It's a lotion and um, a perfume or cologne. I'm going to open those up and most likely sell them separately. Unless the uh, lotion has no value, then I'll just do it as a throw-in. But I'm not selling it in the box. Um, I also This is just a little cat trinket box. Marie liked it. It was like a quarter. I'm not even going to open it up. Uh, let's see. Who makes this? Okay, this is Avon. Le Cirque Lumieres. Now, if this has any age... This could be worth like, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks. I'll put it on eBay. I don't give a crap. And who's this? Rare Emeralds. Let's see. Is this Avon? This is also Avon. I got two of these. Now, I paid a buck a piece for these. If these are worth like 10 bucks a piece, I'll just lot them. If they're worth more, I'll do them individually. Here is one called Odyssey. This is also Avon. But the older ones... Like, you see, there's no there's no barcode on this. I, actually, I don't even know if Avon has barcodes on their stuff. If you can scan Avon stuff. I really don't, to be honest, I don't know. But if it's an older one, the lady was very old. She said she used to sell Avon. And she said she just can't do it anymore. So maybe it's just old store stock or, or uh, discontinued Avon. Who knows? And this one's Realm for Women. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if it's Avon. Let's just do this. Okay, I can't really see it. So if it says Avon, and you can see it, then it's Avon. I don't know. For a buck, who cares? And then this. This was like a quarter. Um, all right. Let's see. I'm going to do the perfume last. Paid five for this. This is signed by this guy. This could be worth 50 or more. I don't really know. Adriano Andy Carrion, artist, illustrator. Now, this is actually licensed, the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, see, so the Incredible Hulk, Marvel, copyright, uh, is Marvel. 
copyright. There's his signature and something 9273. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's from 13 or 3. But this pretty much is a print that the guy signed. I'm pretty sure. I'll look at it carefully. Um, if it's, I might put it in the store, just push some push pins through there and try and sell it for less than what it's worth. Uh, and then I got this. You know, that could be worth, the Hulk could be worth 50 or more. I really don't know. You know, it's just the guy's signature. This is a Henry Rollins, pretty neat looking poster. Can you see that? Uh, frequent flyer tour. And also concert ticket. But it's it's not very old. It's from uh, 2011. So I don't think it's worth a lot. But I only paid two bucks for it, which is fine. I'll just hang that on the wall somewhere in the store. That works right with the store. All right, that's the most expo expensive jewelry Marie bought. And everything else was cheap. At one church sale, the lady was like, oh, just give me a dollar for three things. And Marie was like, ah, it's a church. Here, I'll just give you a dollar each. So, but this is like a really nice enamel locket. But she has to glue it back on. The enamel part fell off. So, that's just nice. This, we went to a yard sale and we bought some jewelry. And then this was in the box. We didn't know it was in the box. So, I just went back. The lady was selling the jewelry for a dollar. So, I just went back. And I said, excuse me, ma'am, this was in the box. It, we didn't know it was in the box. Um, but my wife likes it, so we'll just give it a dollar for it. And it's Chico's. And look at this. Used to, this sold for $32.95 at Chico's. So we're probably going to sell it for 10 or less. Same sale, same lady. Um, we bought these pearls. And I guess this is jade. Or jadeite. And that was, that's gold right there, so... And then we also bought this necklace, and I don't believe this is anything or whatever, but Marie liked the way it looks, so she's just going to put it at the flea market on her table for 10 or less. And also this. And this is just a neat rhinestone pin. I uh, don't believe it has very much age, but it's still really nice, and it's, it's large. It's, it's probably like two and a half to three inches across, you know, so it's a decent one. It's nice and sparkly. Christmas is coming. I think we should sell it. And then I think, I don't even remember where she got this, but this might have also been at the same sale. This is like Sterling Marcosite. Ugh, let, me see. let me just try a different, okay. Yeah, because I keep getting my, sh my shadow in the, let me try that. Okay, it's just Sterling and Marcosite. I think she paid a dollar. See, that's what I'm saying. It's like everything here was so cheap that for the $93, you know, if I can sell that for 30 to 50, if I can sell that for 10, I can sell it for 15 that's 55 five, 60 uh, I don't even know. It's like, I, I think for the 93 I've got like four or $500 worth of stuff here down the line. You know what I mean? Because these, if they're like 20 so so one, two, three, four, five, that's 100 right there. If that's 50 so that's 150 So So, you know, I, I, I did really good. I just didn't get anything like... Like, wow, this is amazing, braggy, blah, blah, blah. Not that I do that, but whatever. Okay. So when we went to the sale, though, I had, I had found this, and I showed it to Marie. And this. And this. That was a church sale. And this was a dollar. This has a couple of little chips on the flowers, but they almost always do. And it's kind of neat, though, to get the Radnor in the original English Bone China box. And it has matching earrings for a dollar. So she'll sell it for even five bucks. Who cares, you know? This uh, I kind of bought even though Marie didn't want me to because it, it's, it's some kind of a fob. She doesn't think the chain goes with it, but I like the chain and I like the hook. And she didn't see, but it does say over here that it's gold filled. I'll try and just... I don't know if you could see that, but it does say gold filled. Okay. All right. Um, I don't know what she'll get for this, but I don't know, 20, 30. Yeah, that's, that's like that one pin I bought. Um, I'm going to sell it for 25, the killer instinct. So there's lots of money to be made on this stuff, even though it's not like super easy, quickly selling, you know, stuff. It just requires work. I don't know who, who this is. It looks like a BR. You see that? Marie probably knows who the designer is. 
but she liked this one. And these she these she paid four dollars a piece for. At a sale. And people pass this stuff up because they just it's not like gold or silver or, or really big designer names, but it's still, it's very pretty. She can sell stuff like this at the flea market. It's the same as this one. This one was Breitling, and it was 4 bucks. Now, even if she only sells this for 20 or 25 where, let me see where they are. Yeah, see the heart? Okay, that's Breitling, and Breitling does sell uh, online. Uh, this one, again, is Leah Sophia. Normally, she doesn't really buy Leah Sophia so much. Um, but she just liked the way this one looked. Same for this one. Uh, and this has some kind of like... Hmm. This says something. It's very... Yeah, you know what? I think it says Wish. Nah, maybe it doesn't. W-H-B-M? W-H... W-B... H to, it depends on which way it goes, but it has like a little crystal in the back. So who knows? She just liked it. She liked that that part right there. Um, this is silver. She paid four bucks for it, and it has. But it's it's like made in China silver. So people, it's not collectible or anything. But but for the four dollars, even if she sells it for like fifteen, right? It's still a good deal. She liked these these crystals on this oh here this has a tag too it has like a crescent with a little rhinestone i'm not familiar with that maker and then she just liked this one see the little flowers in there where is it right here you know and it had matching earrings and she paid four for that because um this one sale she paid 24 that was the most she paid for any of the jewelry uh i think that's it yeah that's everything i got today overall i think i did pretty good uh, Saddlebrook tomorrow. Um, if you want to see the live hunt hunting part of these videos, go to the Scummy Resellers uh, videos. I'll be posting those later this evening. But if you want to find me tomorrow, I'll be in, at the Saddlebrook Street Fair trying to sell uh, stuff. Probably none of this. None of this is really the flea market stuff. Because normally I'm, I'm been taking some games, but mostly like records, uh, CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays to the flea market. Um, but like I said, if you want to see me come tomorrow, and if you want to check out live hunting, go to Scummy Resellers. And if you like, do me a favor, subscribe to my friends. Anyway, I'm out of here. Uh, goodbye.